Hey guys, Adam from Serpent Dog Training. We've just finished up our walk with Tez and Peps, and for the last five minutes of every walk, we're sitting in the car so we can work on Tez's car reactivity. To the left of us, just over there, we've got two dogs. Tez is watching quite intently, uh, so if he does react, he'll be sleed in the course. If he doesn't, then we leave them to it. But what I wanted to talk about quickly is I saw this thing on Facebook last night. It's some purely positive trainer uh, who's obviously against correcting their dog, uh, corrections in general. And they said that if you correct your dog because it doesn't listen to you, it means it doesn't understand the command properly and you need to do more work reinforcing that command. Now, that's rubbish. Okay? And let me tell you why it's rubbish. One, Dogs have their own minds, okay? They're not robots, they have their own minds. So, if something tickles their fancy, at that moment in time, the dog can choose to ignore you, okay? It doesn't matter how much you reinforce that command, it doesn't. So, for instance, if we take the base, it, what made me actually bring this up today was the fact that it was out with these guys, and they know, let's go very well let's go basically means when they're on the lead i'm letting them go around they're in front of me they're sniffing they can do whatever they like they just have to listen to me so when i say let's go it means come on let's walk on uh every single time okay every single time i'm just gonna clear the back windows so tess can see properly every single time i went let's go the dogs listen to me except for one spot one spot very very interesting to the dog and that's when they decided they weren't going to ignore me. They were going to ignore me. They know let's go, that's why they listen to it every single time. But at that moment in time, something was very rewarding for the dog. Okay, so they chose to ignore me. So I gave them a pop on the lead. That's a correction, okay? Now every time after that, when I said let's go, we went around the field again, same spot. They sniffed it very intently. But this time I just said let's go. Didn't have to give a correction or anything like that, and they followed me because they realized there was a consequence for not listening to me, okay? So dogs will and can ignore you if something is more rewarding, and this is where we have to think properly, okay? So when you've got a reward-based trainer or a purely positive trainer or something like that, okay, they're all about the reward, yeah? And we use tons of reward, but the reality is we don't choose what is most rewarding to the dog. We don't. The dog chooses what's most rewarding for them. That's why if you take a dog to the woods, you could have liver, you could have steak, you could have sausage, cheese, bacon, whatever, right? But 90% of dogs, a squirrel would trump that. You being a good boy? Tez is relaxing, he's just got his head on the shelf, and Peps is giving me a kiss, okay? Dogs choose what's more rewarding. So for instance, a squirrel, for most dogs, would be more rewarding than any bit of food that you can offer them, okay? So you can stand there going, come here, Timmy, come here, Timmy, please, Timmy, listen to me, Timmy, and you can wait for Timmy to completely lose his mind, and then hope he's going to stop, and then reward him. That's interesting, Tez. Jump shuffle running towards the car. Good boy, Tess. You good boy. Yes, you are. Yeah. So, when a dog ignores you, they need a consequence. And it can't be a positive consequence. It has to be a negative consequence. So, if the dog chooses to ignore you and they're on a lead, give them a leash pop. Tell them no. Repeat the command. Okay? If a dog loses his mind, correct him. It's not to punish him, again, that's just to snap him out of it, to calm him down so they can then refocus on you. Same when they see a squirrel, dog loses his mind, correction, brings him back down, then you can give him positive information again. And this is the reality. Oh, we've got two dogs coming over, a Sharpay and a Rottweiler. They've just entered the park, so we'll see what Taz wants to do, shall we? Right now he's chilling when Taz has his head on the back shelf, he's just chilling hasn't spotted them yet so corrections they play a big part in dog training okay and really it is this simple positive reinforcement is just that it's to reinforce an existing command or to be used to teach a new command okay is to add something positive to increase a behavior that's what positive reinforcement is okay so it's great for reinforcing existing behaviors it's great for teaching new behaviors but what it does not do and what it will never do is remove 
negative behaviours. It, it doesn't work. That's not the definition of positive reinforcement. The definition of positive reinforcement is to encourage a behaviour or to use it to teach a new behaviour. It does not remove existing behaviours. Okay, Negative behaviours, they can be anything from the dog ignoring you. They could be a dog kicking up at another dog. It could be a dog kicking up at a person. It could be a dog running off, not listening to you. These are all negative behaviours. Okay. You aren't going to fix them with positive reinforcement alone. When a dog chooses to ignore its handler, it needs a correction. Okay? Corrections doesn't mean abuse, corrections doesn't mean harsh, it just means interrupt the dog, okay, in an unpleasant manner. So when the dog then does start to listen to you, you can reinforce it. So with a dog, reward what you like. Anything you like that the dog does, reward it, reward it a lot. Okay, encourage that with positive reinforcement. But if a dog chooses to ignore you, it needs a consequence. Those trainers out there that want to tell you you don't need to correct a dog, right? That you can teach a dog a better behavior and it'll choose to behave that way. A lot of the time that may work until something that the dog deems more rewarding than you or what you can offer crops up. Then you need something else. And this is why dogs are being failed because they're only teaching and reinforcing new behaviors and existing behaviors they are not doing anything to discourage the negative behaviors okay corrections if your dog doesn't listen to you correct it when your dog listens to you reward it keep dog training simple it's that black and white have a good day